Today I'm going to share with you my top six solutions for free web hosting in 2022. So I've tried a lot of these kind of services over the past couple of years. So I'm going to share a quick summary with you. So hopefully you can find the right free solution for your project. So if all this sounds interesting, then keep watching. Now, for most of these services, I've already done a detailed tutorial on the channel. So I've set up this playlist free hosting tutorials. So for X10 hosting, uh, Oracle free hosting, Big Cartel, Google Sites, and adding um, free shopping to the websites, I've added uh, tutorials to this playlist already. So um, things that I've mentioned in the video, you can check this out and you can get more details from there. But let's get on and let's head to my first recommendation. Uh, Google Sites. So Google Sites give you really nice, free, simple, static websites for um, basic projects. So just head to sites.google.com. They actually have a nice template gallery um, that'll get you started with most of your um, basic layouts. So perfect for things like uh, restaurants or little businesses like dog walking or um, tutorials, uh, clubs and uh, those kind of simple websites that don't really need um, a lot of updating or dynamic features. So I really recommend this to people who um, don't have a lot of experience or skill in doing web development because this uh, Google Sites interface is extremely easy to use. It's probably the easiest out of all the methods I'm going to talk about in this video. So I was able to build a simple website like this one in probably under 30 minutes for me. Um, and it, it does look pretty contemporary. It doesn't look like something that someone's uh, thrown together for free. I was even able to add um, shopping to the website as well by just by embedding uh, Stripe checkout. So I've shown how to do that on the playlist as well if you wanted to check that out. So you can actually monetize a free website. And this is all obviously hosted by Google Cloud, so it's quite fast, very reliable. And you can add um, your own custom domain name on here as well, even um, without any extra payment to Google. So um, really like this method of running a free website. Next up, we've got X10 Hosting. So I recently did a tutorial on X10 Hosting. This is probably um, the best overall, like genuine free web hosting. Um, it's pretty similar to like a commercial shared hosting that you'd get from SiteGround or Bluehost or GoDaddy. It's over on x10hosting.com. The actual user experience of using X10 was just as good as anything um, that I've paid for in terms of shared hosting like SiteGround or um, hosting a very simple and quite straightforward. I was able to set up WordPress in like a 10 minute tutorial. So check that one out if you're interested. Very flexible in terms of what you can do here. You're not limited to WordPress either. There's a Softaculous apps installer. So lots of things you can install on X10 hosting. And the actual performance on X10 was, was quite remarkable as well. So 100 on mobile or 99 on mobile and um, really good uh, core web vitals. So very surprising that free hosting was able to deliver quite high performance as well. Next thing is probably my favorite one personally, oracles.com cloud free. So Oracle cloud free um, give you up to four instances of Ampere A1 computes. So you can have four CPUs um, running with up to 24 gigabytes of RAM. So extremely, extremely generous. Now this is, is pretty difficult to use and it's pretty difficult to access. So you need a, a credit card and a phone number to be able to even sign up. And it can be difficult for some countries to actually get access to this, but over on oracle.com, com slash free um, the actual control panel is pretty complicated like it's it's aimed at developers but i have done a pretty detailed tutorial on how to get that up and running so it's not that hard if you follow the tutorial but like i said this is developer level you have to be confident using like a, a control panel terminal pasting in scripts and installing your software like that so it's not um, very user friendly but it's definitely worth the effort to go ahead and learn how to do this even if um, you're just interested in building simple things I think this really up updates your own skill set if you haven't tried this before so check that tutorial out it's really a lot of fun and I think you'll be satisfied if you get to the end of that one using something like this actually outperforms a lot of free hosts. Like if you're using Bluehost or GoDaddy or something like that, this is actually even better and it's, and it's free. And um, yeah, so I really recommend this if you've got the time to learn how to use this because I really enjoyed it. Next one I thought I'd mention, this has been around a long time, but blogger.com, um, you can host blogs for free on here. A lot of these templates, they still look pretty good. They do look a little bit dated. I was able to throw together a simple blog um, in just a few minutes. And so it does, it does look okay still, I think. And you can um, change this to a custom domain. They will let you um, 
uh, use a custom domain on the free plan as well. So you can get quite a professional, decent looking blog result. I do quite prefer um, Google Sites. I think the Google Sites look a bit nicer, but I think if you want to host a blog and add regular content and um, sort of micro updates, I think blogup.com might be a bit better. But um, overall, I kind of prefer Google Sites, but I thought I'd mention um, Blogger, blogspot.com, because um, it is pretty good as a free blogging service. Next one I wanted to mention was bigcartel.com. So you can get a free website. Also, it includes a online store. So this is perfect um, for like artists and makers, like small scale online stores. The free plan is actually okay because you can sell up to five products on the free plan. And then um, as you increase the number of products, the pricing goes up. But if you were an Instagram um, artist or um, a musician or something simple, uh, or you just have a simple business that doesn't sell a large number of products, this can be a quite a good option. I was able to um, put together a website pretty quickly on here. This interface is extremely easy, probably just as easy as, as Google Sites. Um, no need for anything technical. Um, basically, anyone who can use um, a computer or a phone can probably set this up. Um, this is the store I was able to set up during the tutorial that I did previously. That's in the playlist. Um, very nice looking online store on the free plan. You can add a custom domain on, on the free plan as well, which is which is excellent. So uh, yeah, look, if you're looking to monetize your social media, like your, your Instagram or your TikTok or something like that, I think this big cartel uh, free tier is, is a good choice. So the last one I wanted to mention, I haven't actually done a tutorial on the channel, but I have tried this out in the past is Google Clouds free tier. So there's a bunch of free tier products. So it is possible to run a, um, a basic website on the free tier. So uh, they've got details in the documentation about what's actually included. Now they did, I think late last year, they upgraded the free processor. Now it's an E2 micro. It's hard to understand what an actual E2 micro processor is. Uh, I think it can be AMD or it can be Intel, depending on the region and depending on your own luck, whether it's a newer Intel or an older Intel. But um, it'll be some kind of Intel or AMD. So you can run a lot of stuff on this. I think, um, but uh, like the interface is, is really, really complicated. And uh, yeah, it's it's not the easiest thing to start with. I probably wouldn't recommend this to most people unless you've got some experience um, setting up servers. But uh, I think the actual, the actual current uh, deal that they give you, 30 gigabytes of um, disk space, you got this E2 microprocessor and um, it's available in US and yeah, just, just the US for this E2 micro. And uh, I was able to price this up. Um, the one thing that bothered me was that um, network, network traffic to Australia gets charged for some reason. That was written down here. So one gigabyte network egress from North America to all regional destinations, excluding China and Australia. So I'm obviously Australian. So that annoys me a little bit, but uh, for a small website, I think, what was I pricing up? If I was only doing one gigabyte of data to Australia, that's only 20 cents. So, I mean, it's not exactly free, but that's that's so close to being free that I wouldn't really care about paying that much. I might actually do a tutorial if you guys are interested in checking out the Google Clouds free tier. Some of you weren't able to get access to Oracle, um, but you may still be able to get access to Google Cloud. So let me know in the comments if you'd like um, a Google Cloud tutorial, because I might have a look at this again. Given that they did upgrade that... Um, processor to an E2 micro that the Geekbench score is, is not terrible. I think um, it's not that far behind Oracle. Maybe Oracle is about 30% quicker than this um, E2 micro processor, but um, I might be interested in, in trying this out again sometime. Also, let me know if you like a tutorial on Blogger. Blogger was pretty simple to set up. I don't think um, most of you can actually need a tutorial to go to blogger.com and, and run one of these themes, but some of them are um, a little bit tricky to customize and it's a bit limited in terms of what you can do in terms of its customization, but let me know if you'd like a, a tutorial on using this and demonstrating what you can actually can and can't do on here. And um, finally, I might just say um, free hosting is obviously not for everyone. You can get quite cheap high performance hosting. Um, I do most of my projects on vulture.com and uh, this, this $6 um, Intel high frequency actually gives you a 3.7 uh, gigahertz Xeon CPU and that really, really outperforms anything I've mentioned in the tutorial. So yeah, most of my stuff goes on here and that's that's not much money for most of you, but I know a lot of you are in, in developing countries and you're trying to save every, every dollar you can. So um, a lot of these uh, tutorials I've done for free 
are going to give you what you want. And I've tried and tested these. These are all work really well. So um, anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.